Hey, what's up guys? So today, um, did a couple trades, uh, one on NVIDIA and one on SQ. Um, so for uh, NVIDIA, uh, the U level gap down, actually I think both of these got down. Uh, 15 minute, uh, it was trending downwards, uh, pretty much when it made a new 15 minute low, uh, that's when I took um, the short. Um, so this is how it looks like on the five minute. There's an SMA running across here and it basically trended below both EMAs um, pretty much the whole time. Um, so let's see what I did here. So I uh, started out by taking a short. Um, no, no, actually no, I started out by taking that long, um, sorry. So this is where I got my loss from 100 minus 153. Uh, the reason why I took a long is because when I was looking at this, it dropped, held this level, it went up, um, and I think my reasoning was, I think this is going to pop back up at least to the SMA. So I took a small size, 300 shares. It did not go that way. It dropped, so I, so I uh, sold out. Um, went short, it popped up, didn't break the VWAP, I added small position to this to this so i think it came out to be like 800 shares or, or something like that um and then it popped up uh did really break this level um so on the way down i started to cover um and then i made the mistake of instead of covering another piece another 100 share here i actually pressed the wrong button i, I pressed so so i added to my position at this bottom uh, and then the stock went back up, then break VWAP again. So on the way down, I added to my position and then covered all the way down. So that's pretty much my trade. It continues to trend down. Now it's down to 150 or, or whatnot. But um, I made you know quite a bit of money on on Nvidia. So that was that. Um, and then for SQ, this is where I'm not so proud of my uh, trade. So SQ, I think they level again. It it dropped uh, 15 minute. Um, and I took a short, I think when I was trying to make a new 15 minute low, um, and I covered some, exact, exactly what I did. I, I took um, a short because it did have a bounce back at around this level, it started to bounce back, hit VWAP, looks like it was going to go down. I took a short, small size, I think 500 shares, um, and then it dropped, it kind of helped this level for a bit. It, it, even though it's only one minute, it's not really um, transparent, but on the uh, level two, I was holding this level, so I got out some. Um, and then I, I went and added to my position, and then the stock just bounced on me. Should have got out, but I was thinking, okay, maybe it'll hit this level, um, and uh, it'll, it'll come back down. Um, my size wasn't really too big, um, so uh, it didn't matter as much, uh, but then um, it bounced, and then it came back down. I should have gotten out at this level as well, um, but for whatever reason, um, I wasn't paying attention. So um, it popped back up. Um, I think if I got out here, I would have made um, quite a bit of money, but I didn't. Um, and then it just ran right up. Um, what kept me still in the trade was the fact that there's this SMA here, um, which is coming down. It's sloping downwards. Um, and then also on this high, it basically formed a almost like a double top along with this area here so i knew it was going to come back down at some point um so i stayed in my position um and if it was going to break this then i would have gone out at a pretty sizable loss um at that point but i came back down and then i covered but this is not something i'm proud of this is what got me into my um a bad week in the first place when i had like i think five i lost five grand in a week something like that so uh, yeah this is not good shifts stopped out uh, probably somewhere here um, especially here definitely should have gone out here should have taken profit here um, I think here I was just not paying attention I want to get coffee or something like that um, so um, yeah so I, I got lucky with uh, SQ uh, I made 115 but um, not good um, something I need to be uh, cognizant of